everyone, welcome to Crochet Day by Day. My name is Nadege, and today I want to make some plushies. Particularly a giant sunflower pillow and some turtles. There's a bunch of different turtles, a regular turtle, we got a watermelon turtle, a hamburger turtle, a mushroom turtle, a cute little flower turtle, some mushrooms, just all the things that I have seen recently on my Pinterest that I've been saving and I really want to to give it a shot. I want to see if it's something that I can make and just have some fun with it. So if you want to explore that with me and crochet along or just watch, go ahead and grab a drink, grab your yarn and your hook, and let's go ahead and hang out for a bit while we make some cute little plushies. <music> to pop on here real quick because I had to go to Joanne and Michael's for this yarn because I ran out while I was making my sunflower petals but that's okay I went I was able to get like the one that's left and I could finish my sunflower but I I noticed that it was nice to just be able to leave and not have to like wait for work to be over, stuff like that. And I got kind of emotional about it because it's, it's just kind of like nice to have that, that freedom right now. I don't know how long I'll be able to not have a regular nine to five job, but yeah, I uh, thought I would mention that, that I, that it's just nice to be able to up and leave if I need to go get something and not be stressed about my time. It's just nice. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to get back home so I can finish this stuff water.
tell I completed the sunflower pillow look at that it was actually pretty tricky to space the petals correctly so they got kind of scrunched at the bottom but if you've ever seen a real sunflower you know that the petals are not evenly you know separated spaced, evenly spaced. So I'm calling that a win. I do wish this was a little bit darker, but it kind of, it looks good. I like it. For my first attempt, it looks pretty dang good. I'll keep it. I was maybe going to sell it, but I had, I, this is my first time making one of these. And I feel like the seaming and everything kind of didn't go as well as I would have liked. If you guys have any tips, let me know on how to seam things correctly because you can kind of see it you see that so if you have tips let me know down below and since today is a new day i was looking at a lot of patterns and i found one for a bumblebee i'm sure you guys have seen them and i figured why not make a bumblebee to go with the sunflower so i'm going to start with that and then I'm going to make a bunch of turtles today. I really want to make these turtles because I think they're so cute. I found like a hamburger turtle, a mushroom turtle, a pizza turtle, a flower turtle, and we'll do just a regular turtle also. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make a bumblebee. I'm watching some of YouTube, some of the people that I like to watch on there, catching up on shows. And yeah. Let me know, actually, what do you guys do when you're crocheting? Do you listen to books? Do you watch shows or rather listen to them? Because I know sometimes you really got to be into it. Um, let me know what you do because I am curious to know. And aside of that, just stick around. I'm just going to put some stuff in here so you can see me making some bumblebees. Uh, maybe I'll make multiple. Depends on how easy it is, of course. It looks simple enough, but I don't want to jinx myself. So we're going to make some bees and then turtles and yeah, we'll just go from there. I hope you like this too. Uh, this is huge. Like, look at my head. Look at my head. I, I tested it out. Alan tested it out. It's pretty, pretty nice. All right. Let's make some bees. <laughs>
Okay, everyone, it's been several days since I made the bee and the sunflower. So let me just recap with you here. This giant sunflower pillow. This thing is so cool. It's what the, how I stuffed it is really soft too. I really like this. It turned out so good. And then the bee, well, he looks great, but his eyes are a little funny. <laughs> I think I did it wrong, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it's a learning experience, and it's huge. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but I'm learning quite a bit with the Amigurumi plushie making and hook size and everything like that. So since I made these this bee, I made quite a few other things. First, I made this top. It's a little mesh crop top. I think I, I'm covering this just in case you can see my nipples. <laughs> I don't want anything uh, being taken down here, but I made this the other day because I was in sort of a bit of a, a funk, I guess you could say, and it's a nice crop top, which I like never wear. It's so hot right now, and wow, just wow. So I made this the other day, and before those days, I made a lot of other things too. So let's go ahead and just recap all the things that I made. First, I made this uh, this cute little kitten for my friend's daughter. She requested a kitten. <laughs> so I made her this kitten. I haven't given it to her yet, obviously, but uh, sh I showed her on FaceTime what it looked like, and she loved it. So I'm really excited about that. This is a no-sew pattern. And of course, as always, I will link everything that I can down below. Some of these are purchase patterns, and some are free. I think only one's purchase pattern. Yeah. Okay, so I did that, and I made my first turtle. Now, <laughs> I've, I've made some improvements since. It's kind of like a... <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. I like it, but um, this will just be a reminder of wh where I started so I can see where I end up with all my crocheting amigurumi. And with that, I went ahead and did a couple other things, too. First... If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted uh, that I made an emotional support pig. <laughs> I don't know why. I just was kind of in a, a weird mood. And, <coughs> woo, excuse me. These pigs work up so quick and easy. It's really for like a mini pig pattern. It's on Ravelry. And you know, they, they can get really small to really big. It uh, clearly depends on the size of your yarn and the size of the hook that you're using. But I just fell in love with these little pigs. So I just made, I made one for me. And this is going to be my little pig. But I do plan on making more and selling them, of course, because who doesn't want an emotional support pig, right? Well, I got a little crazy with that. And I got that yarn from uh, Loops and Threads, What that was kind of like this flowery stuff. So I made some pigs with it, and I made Rosie and Posy. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh my god, their little tail. I, I'm loving this. They're so cute. They're so cute. Um... Definitely going to be selling these. I need to order yarn, though, for to make these. If you guys think these are cute and would buy them or think they would sell, let me know before I, like, go in and put in a big order. Um, but they are so cute. I adore them. Working with this yarn is so nice. It is just so smooth and soft, and <sighs> I love it. So I got some more loops and thread yarn and I made two other pigs and I'm realizing uh, the size of my hook and how much I'm stuffing is a big component to how successful these <laughs> can be so I made pepper and brownie oh I adore these it's kind of funny because I have a friend who has two dogs that are her mom's and their names are Brownie and Pepper and this is kind of like coincidental. This is not, well, I didn't <laughs> realize that after I made them. But they're so friggin' cute! 
Emotional support pigs coming in hot, guys. Um, <laughs> then I made this monster. See this monster? <laughs> I plan on making several. I use basically a whole giant big twist. The big twist that I bought for this. And it, it turned out pretty cool. It worked out pretty fast too. So I can imagine using like smaller size yarn would likely be, um, it'll, it'll use less yarn. No, smaller hook, small, I think you know what I mean. Okay, so I decided that I bought, since I bought this other loops and threads, I made a snake as well. The color of the yarn is called coral, so I'm like, it's kind of like a coral snake, you know? Who doesn't like snakes? I mean, a lot of people don't like snakes, but you know, ki kids, a lot of kids like snakes sometimes. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But here's a snake. And then I went on a turtle making fiasco. I found this uh, no sew pattern. It kind of just scrolled through, I was scrolling through my Instagram and I saw the friendly red fox. She posted a no sew pattern for a turtle. So I was like, I want to do that. So I made one for my friend's daughter, the first one, and I'll put a picture here because I already gave it to her. She was hanging out with me while I was making it because she wanted to watch and I was like, why not? So I made this as my first one and it's really, the yarn is really beautiful, really soft. I love it a lot. And then I decided to make kind of like a traditional turtle, a more traditional turtle, I guess you could say, like just depends. So we have this guy. And then I was like, okay, this is a good pattern. It's, it's easy enough to follow. It's giving me the look that I want for this like brim here on the shell. Like this one didn't have that. Or maybe I just did it wrong because I'm not experienced enough uh, to, to figure that out. But that's okay. I like this pattern. I used the smaller size hook on this one. And I was like, this is like kind of too tight for what I want. So I decided then to go ahead and make a mushroom turtle with a little bit larger hook and <laughs> it turned out really good. Reminds me of, you know, Super Mario Brothers. And then I wanted to make a pizza turtle. So I made a pizza turtle. I'm freaking obsessed with these. And I had just a little bit of yarn left over from this guy. Oh, this guy. So I decided to make like a cupcake kind of turtle with the shell here. It was just enough. I have no more yarn. It is hot, guys. I am sweating. But that's freaking cute, right? And then the other day when I was making this top, which for me... It's a crop top. I don't know if I said that a minute ago. And I am not a crop top wearing person. Not usually. It's been so hot though. So I made this top and I was like, I want to make that hamburger turtle that I've been seeing on, on Instagram. I've been on Instagram a lot, I guess. So I made a hamburger turtle. I am obsessed. Like you could see the like tomato. All the layers. Cute little belly. Bun. That was fun. I This took a long time though because there's so many different components like with the, the stitching. But it was fun. And I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. I'm thinking I'll probably have to keep a lot of my, <laughs> my first iterations of all of these because I don't know... If anyone would really buy them, maybe, I don't know, but it's good practice and I'm getting the hang of it a little bit and I'm really enjoying it. This has been so much fun and I'm going to continue to make more and I will be selling these in my Etsy shop too when I get that. I'll again be exploring other um, outlets too, probably go to figure out the market game. I'm not exactly sure how that's going, um, but yeah, so that's everything that I've made in the past like couple weeks as far as amigurumi goes or since I 
it's been like a week and a half actually and it's so much fun these little guys work up so freaking fast it's a no sew pattern so you know you don't really have to sew anything in the tail you kind of have to do something with it i've i've obviously I have modified a few things as far as the stitches go because of like the feet and stuff like that. Some of the things I'm like, this is easier to do instead of doing it the other way. And it turns out for me, just the same. So yeah, that's what I, I finished. I did make some mar market bags for those of you that have been, that watched my last video. This is one of my favorite ones. This like yellow and gray. And then these two-tone like brown and kind of off-white and this one is like a brown and a white I really like these I hope you guys like them too I'm working really hard to get enough stuff out and in there so let me know uh, what you like down below I really appreciate it send me some you know turtle emojis some pig emojis let me know if you got this far in the video. I know it's probably a bit long, but let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. I have a lot more coming up here for you guys, so please stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already liked this video to let me know if you liked it. And uh, yeah, if you're sticking around, I will see you next time.